haya saseni saseni watu wangu hope mko salama mko poa mnaendelea fresh uh, Jeff your safeguarding officer ka baridi tu nasikia baridi kiasi although niko ndani ya gari but imetoka huko nje you guys can see my background yeah um but i hope you guys are all well mnaendelea salama you guys are keeping children safe you are keeping family safe and uh, first and foremost thank you very much for the love you guys have shown towards uh, safeguarding watoto family uh, na washukuru sana mungu endelee kuwainua kuwazidishia kubariki na kulinda na kuwatunza watoto wenu na ndoa zenu tunasemaga bila ndoa is going to be very difficult for children to thrive uh, therefore but um, uh, tunashukuru mungu for this father that he has been faithful anyway so Leo tungependa tu kuangalia what is going on around uh, families uh, we usually base our videos and sana sana ndani ya the 254 um, but also we touch a base around the world uh, but anyway so leo tungependa tu tujaribu kuangalia Boniface na uh, aliyekuwa mke wa Ayubu Ruth of course leo Uh, kumekuwa na issues pale katika ofisi ya Dr. J wakati aliweza kufika pale aka akuja kuona watoto maana watoto walikuwa ni wagonjwa ama mtoto mmoja alikuwa ni mgonjwa ala huyu mwingine akaanza kwa ni kama anashikwa pia na you know ugonjwa kwa sababu they are twins mm, but anyway alikuja pale na madharao mengi sana uh udim it's uh, mama ambaye haeleweki you know akona shida na kiburi You know, mimi nashangaa kweli how watu wameumbwa design gani. You know, um, of course wakati aliolewa na Ayubu. Alikuwa anajua Ayubu sio milionaire. You know, so ni watu walikuja pamoja, we want to believe back then hata ukiangalia picha zao za pale mbeleni, ni watu walikuwa na furaha, watoto wakiwa wadogo pale wako kwa wanaimba pamoja, wako kwa, kwa, kwa katika ndoa. But of course, tangu wakuja kukutana na Mr. Billionaire, the Kenyan billionaire Boni, you know Boniface. Sasa aibu ni maskini ambaye hafai kuwa duniani according to to yeye. Matusi ni mengi but uh, unajua sisi tunaishi hapa duniani. Naye Mungu huwa anaishi mbinguni. So of course pale leo director Jay ameweza kusema ya kwamba DNA itafanyika very soon within this week because ni kama Mungu amesaidia. But I think it's important uh, for Ruth to understand a few things. First and foremost, kuna kitu ambaye Dr. J pale alimwambia, ambaye Dr. J sijui kama aliweza kuelewa but definitely ni mtu anataka kanisa but he told that lady one thing that is very correct. Ndani ya Biblia it is critical that pesa huwa zinakuja na huwa zinaondoka. Zina mabawa zinaweza kupepea kuna watu ambaye walikuanga na pesa mob walikuanga millionaires back in a day siku hizi ukimwangalia unaweza kumsikilia huruma unashangaa huyu ndiye alikuwa mtu ambaye yako na magari manyumba mashamba alikuwa mtu wa high class siku hizi things have changed na kuna watu pia walikuwa just not long ago ama a few years down the line ama watu walikuwa wanajulikana hawa ni wale familia ya mtu fulani lazima uwapatie leftovers you know watu wakichagua zile ma, ma, vitu mzuri mzuri zile ambazo zimekatakatwa mnasema pelekea familia ya kina fulani manake wale ni maskini kuna watu kama hao ambao walikuwa hivyo kini siku hizi ukiwaangalia Mungu alikuja akawainua akawainua siku hizi pesa sio shida manyumba magari kuruka kutua kwa sehemu zozote duniani sio shida sababu Mungu alishakuja Mungu alishakuja na akabadilisha maisha yao so hata ndugu yetu Ayubu Namuita ndugu yangu kwa sababu kuna watu nimeona wakiwa na madharao kama huyo Boniface anamuita mtanzania hapa hakuna mambo ya Tanzania wewe hata kama ni baba ya hao watoto kuwazaa ama sio baba ya watoto kuwazaa lakini for those few years amekuwa na hao watoto amekuwa akiwatafutia 
kile kidogo ambacho Mungu ameweza kumtafutia amekuwa hata akiondoka ndani ya Kenya na anaelekea Tanzania na hata akiwa Kenya amekuwa kitafuta amekuwa akilinda kutunza na kuangalia hawa watoto hata wakati huu mzozo ina hizi fujo zilitokea yeye ndiye amekuwa na hawa watoto and he's done a fantastic job he's actually a safeguarding father So hii mambo ya boni kusema oh wewe ni mtanzania rudi Tanzania kwenda ukatafute wa Tanzania ni nani amepatia boni idhini ni nani amepatia boni ruhusa ya kusema wewe ni mtanzania nani amesema boni ni mkamba kuna mtu ameambia boni wewe ni mkamba rudi ukambani nini kuna mtu ame why why mbona boni ako na guts za kusema wewe ni mtanzania where is this coming from Mbona Bonia anaona sasa eti huyu ni maskini sana ni lazima achangiwe kila kitu mpaka amejaza huyu Ruth Kasumba. Ya kumtusi kumtukana a potential uh, father of these children because of course huyu tunajua huyu Ruth anaelewa exactly ni nani baba ya watoto. Lakini anataka ni kama kuficha ficha. And that, no wonder huyu Boniface was trying to give Ayub 1 million Kenyan shillings aachane na mambo ya dini na apatiana watoto. But of course the father goes deeper than pesa. You know others kama ni watu wengine kusikia 1 million wangerukia. Waseme hey, si hawa watoto wanaweza kuchukua mtu mwingine na ni wazae. Ni zae watoto wengine ah chukua watoto nipati hiyo million. But fatherhood goes beyond money. It's not about the money. It's about that connection, that bond. Ni huo wito. So inanishangaza sana ya kwamba Boni anaona yeye anaweza kuwa ni kama ako mbele ya Mungu yeye anaona kuna pesa yeye anaona hana kitu hana anamjaza eh, you know um, side chick yake Ruth you know uh, uchafu ndani ya akili yake ndani ya kinywa chake ndani hata eh, yake mwenyewe anamjaza hii uchafu yote because what Bonnie and uh, what Bonnie and Ruth are doing ndio huwa tunaita adultery Bonnie and Ruth are committing adultery right now. Na Bonnie wacha ni kuongeleshe. Bonnie and Ruth wewe nyinyi mnazini. Mnafanya usherati. That is adultery because both of you are actually married. Where Bonnie umeoa kinyumbani, bibi yako na watoto ru, uh, purity wako huko, umewatupa kwa sababu ya side chick. Side chick ambaye akili zake sijui ziko wapi. So of course we also understand Ayubu and Ruth are married whether it was legally but they lived as partners uh, and mpaka um, wakati huu ambaye hizi fujo na gazi zimetokea So and uh, to understand that doctor ni wakati mtu anatoka ndani ya ndoa yake anaenda na lala nje na watu wengine wakati ya katika ndoa So of course uh, you guys are committing adultery and it's wrong sio vizuri Now Uh, shida yangu kubwa hapa ni ya kwamba Ruth anajua ukweli 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 ya kwamba she is not the only woman in Bonnie's life na hata sio yeye peke yake hata purity hata wakati walikuwa na purity pale wakati walikuwa na purity pale alikuwa anajua ya kwamba purity na Ruth they are not the only women in Bonnie's life Bonnie ni mtu ambaye anapenda wanawake na ndio uliona alikataa ile simu yake ikuwe sanitize pale kwa director J na hata alikuwa jaribu kuhonga director J. Boni amezoea kuhonga watu, anataka kuhonga polisi, anataka kuhonga kila mtu madaktari, anataka kuhongana kwa DNA, anataka kuhonga kuhonga Ayubu amuzie watoto, anataka kuhonga kila mtu. The only person Boni ameweza kuhonga na aka, aka, aka faulu ni Ruth. Amekumba Ruth na pesa, na Ruth amekubali na Ruth ameuza eh, maisha yake kwa Boni. So that is why Bonnie can use Ruth kama yoyo ball. Anamchukua na mrusharusha vile vile anataka uh, kwa sababu akona pesa. Lakini pesa yake haiwezi kununua uh, match because kama ni Ayubu alikataa kuuza watoto. Mapolisi hawezi kuhongwa. Tunaona wakati alichukua pale kwa director Jay alikuwa analia kama mtoto. Uh, kwa polisi alienda huko pia akalia. So kuna pahali pesa yako haiwezi kupitisha lakini kwanza ikifika ni mambo ya Mungu na watoto kwa sababu Mungu anapenda watoto sana hapo pesa yako haiwezi kusaidia. So lakini Ruth ameshikwa na amejazwa kasumba mbaya, amekuwa mjinga. Na simuiti mjinga kwa sababu sieti eh, sielewi nini nasema. I mean this. 
from within me ya kwamba Ruth amekuwa mjinga kwa sababu amevunja ndoa yake, ameharibu familia yake kwa sababu ya pesa. Kitu ambaye huwa inakuja na inapepea. What Ruth has right now can finish just like this. Sio ati Ruth kuna pesa mingi akona kwa sababu Bonnie ya kuna pesa iti amempatia milioni za manini. Ni zile ya kidogo kidogo anapatiwa hapa hapa na anakusanya anaweka kwa sababu alisema yuko director jeno not long ago. Ni anaanza kuwa na maringo kubwa na kichwa yake inakuwa kubwa kwa sababu ya shilingi bili. Ma pesa nane like they say. But anyway, what is surprising ni kwamba Ruth anajua Bonnie yako na wanawake wengine na anakubali kuendelea kuwa pale katika ile ile ile, ile nyumba ya Boni kwa sababu anajua not all beside Ruth ule ambaye alikuwa ameleta fujo kwa sababu yake kuna wanawake wengine wako kwa kwa life ya Boni na ndio alikataa pale sanitization pale kwa director je baka hata yeye mwenyewe Ruth akasema sasa atastaki hiyo mambo ya DNA najua maybe kuna kuna very likely highly likely kuna wanawake wengine but kwa sababu Boni yako na pesa mimi sitaki kujua acha niendelee hivyo that is a sad part of life because this woman can actually anaweza kuleta hapo ugonjwa mbaya na boni you know and uh, but it is what it is anajua na anaelewa ni nini anafanya and sadly kuna watu wanapenda pesa kuliko maisha yao kuna watu wanapenda pesa kuliko watoto wao kuna watu wanapenda pesa kuliko ndoa kuna watu wanazapenda pesa kuliko bwana zao ama wake zao kuna watu wanazapenda pesa kuliko familia zao na Ruth is one of that unaona so mimi uh, what i could say is that Tunashukuru Mungu ya kwamba DNA will happen very soon. Alafu itabainisha mbichi na mbivu ni nani baba ya hawa watoto and then hopefully from there uh, bwana Ayubu can be given full custody ya hawa watoto because definitely Ruth is not a good mother. Ruth is not a good mother. Haelewi ni nini anafanya. Eh juzi tulimwona akijaribu kuiba watoto wa purity uh, akae na wao. Na wake wenyewe hawa wili wako na Ayubu walikuwa na waacha anaenda kuzurula anaenda kufanya tabia mbaya huko nje anaachia sister yake wa, watoto naye sister yake anatoka pia anaenda pia kuzurula so yeye yeah, yeah, Ruth na sister yake and that is how uh, Ayubu ended up having the children because watoto walikuwa ni kama hawalindwi vizuri so tunaomba ya kwamba hii DNA ifanyike ili tutaanza kuelewa who is the father of these children whether ni Boni ama ni ni Ayubu Our prayers is that it will be Ayubu because definitely there is also a chance that it could be Boniface because huyu mwanamke kama vile tunasema alikuwa anacheza nje sio leo ameanzia it's just not wakati mambo imeonekana alikuwa anawachezea tangia five years because from what she saying yeye na Boni walianzia but nani hakuna mtu anaweza jua exactly because Ruth ni muongo Ruth inaweza kuwa hata walianzana na huyu Boniface about a year ago ama wakati nani Ayubu alienda Tanzania but uh, kwa sababu wanataka wanataka kutengeneza story kuunda story ya vile Ayubu sio baba ya watoto they can even cook that walikuwa pamoja five years ago but anyway hiyo yote itajulikana wakati DNA itafanyika and my prayer is that uh, Ayubu can then be stabilized and uh, tutafanya whatever we need to do uh, mimi kama safeguarding officer pia I'll be there and uh, we'll see what God will do Uh, to get Ayubu to a place of being able to support those children because hiyo ndio kazi yetu na kama familia ama family of 2 KTV you know ama family of safeguarding watoto so we will do what we need to do to see those children thrive you know regardless of what Ayubu anaambiwa oh wewe ni mtanzania oh rudi fanya hivi no 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 Ayubu is our brother mimi nikienda Tanzania you know nimeenda Tanzania many times kuna a lot of friends family in Tanzania so yeah you know so we'll do what it is but anyway maombi yangu ni ya kwamba Ruth and Boniface we need to learn ya kwamba money is not everything usije ukadharau mtu kwa sababu ya pesa usije ukaita mtu maskini usije ukakemea ama kufokea mtu kwa sababu eti haja hajavaa vizuri ama hajakula vizuri kwa sababu eti hana pesa wewe sio Mungu na Mungu eh, ndio everything. Mungu ndio huwa anapatiana na yeye ana akiondoa tu fever yake kwako hivi. Your billions can reduce to pennies in a matter of minutes. Tumeona watu wengi sana wanakuanga na pesa lakini pesa wasaidii wana wanabaki wakilia. Ndio asanteni sana watu wangu. Please tuko katika road ya 10,000 10 strong safeguarding family duniani. Uh, we are getting there very soon please naomba kama hujaza kusubscribe 
tia subscription yako hapo uh, tia comment yako kuhusu what do you think about bonifis na maringo yake na pesa hii mambo ya kuongana everywhere akijaribu kuongana mpaka kununua maisha ya watoto what do you think about it what about ruth mnamuonaje ruth ama mimi ndio nafikiria she is not a good mother because uh, yeah, mimi nasema that from the basis of what ameonesha na tangia aache hawa watoto kule kwa nyumba yake na ayubu achukue watoto and the steps zile ambazo zimeendelea mpaka siku ya leo kiangalia huyo mtu hata hakulete fujo unajua kuna mtu angeleta fujo pale kwa kwa ofisi ya director ji aseme hatoki bila hawa watoto hapo but she was not even fighting for those kids hata leo so mimi nashangaa what kind of a mother ameuliza pale maswali oh mbona hujai enda polisi nini nini you know kama mtu angekuwa na ako 100% sure na anataka watoto wake angeambia huyu jamaa sasa kwa sababu nataka hawa watoto wangu na hawa watoto wangu ni wangu na wewe leo 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 provide hiyo pesa ya DNA twende tufanye kwa sababu mimi niko 100% lakini Ruth cannot do that because Ruth knows very likely i know yule mtu anazajua mababa ya watoto mostly in most cases ni, ni mama kwa sababu yeye anajua wakati aliconceive watoto but there's very high possibility kama what she's saying is actually true that she was seeing both men at the same time there is very high possibility she also doesn't know because she could have fallen pregnant at any time kama alikuwa anacheza inja na lala na ayubu na analala na huyo boniface we don't know na analala na any, any other person we don't know kuna hata uwezekano god forbid inazaenda pale kama iende kama vile nani uh, albanas na shem hilo alifanya dna and mtoto wa kamacha was neither of those men so uh, there is also possibility of that because huyu ruth kama alikuwa analala na na ayubu na analala na boniface anaweza kuwa alikuwa analala hata na wanaume wengine because ruth yeye ni mtu ambaye anapenda pesa and she will do anything to get money so uh, na, na nikisema na, she, she will do anything to get money she hatafanya kazi na mikono yake anataka kazi ya kupata pesa kwa wanaume unfortunately that it, it, she said that she's done that and i think she would do it again so um it's sad to see mtu ambaye aliweza kubeba watoto kwa tumbo yake miezi tisa na kaza na kanyonyesha i believe ana behave namna hii but anyway god is there for us all lakini watu they can choose to be in and out of your life just like that so ni haya tu watu wangu mbarikiwe sana and i'll see you very soon in the next video